a lot of even feminist liberal women mm -hmm. will have an expectation of men to lead I know, so, and I think that that's deluded. I think that that's not feminism. When you, I've seen videos where you, where a woman will call herself a feminist, and then you ask her who should pay on the first date, and they say, "Well, him." That's not feminism. That's patriarchy. Well, right, but well, so that's how feminism that, but but that kind of goes but back those to are my women whole thing who are about equality. Who are misnomering themselves as feminists? That is not feminism. Well, that's. I mean, there's that's not an, equity. That's, that's not a equality. no true Scotsman fallacy. I mean. Well, that's you not, are a that's little debater. Would you take debate in high school? Doesn't matter. But no true Scotsman. <laughs> I mean, basically, you're saying, well, that's not actually true feminism. But sure. Look, that's also anecdotal. Sure. I mean, that's not your shadow boxing is what you're doing. I don't think that. My form of feminism doesn't think that. I believe in I believe in gender abolition. I believe in gender equality. I've, I'm not sure what gender abolition is. It means none of this fucking. It means there are two sexes. Oh, okay. Amen. Are you a turf? Amen. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I, I want to finish my point really quick on equality. Sure. So I was basically saying I don't believe it's for equality, feminism. My most generous definition of it is it's a woman's advocacy movement. I actually think it's a misandrous, man-hating movement uh, that also happens to do... It's a, you speak on. like it's a monolith, and it's not. It pretty, it pretty much is. No, because, it's not. Because pretty much is. Well, here's why. Here's why. Fe okay, feminism is in every single... Feminism has seeped its claws into pretty much every single realm. The mainstream media. Journal hold so on, hold on, hold on. The mainstream media. Relax, relax. <laughs> the mainstream media, journalism, news organizations, academia, corporations, governments. It's all feminism. Every single university of every single higher education, whatever college, university in this country has either a feminist study, a gender studies, or a women's studies program in this country. You know what they all teach? They all teach the patriarchy theory. Sure. It teaches that men as a class are oppressors and women as a class are oppressed. That if you teach someone, if you teach a whole swath, a whole generations of people that they are oppressed, and the other gender is to blame for that. You're very anti-critical race theory, is what I'm hearing also. Well, I suppose, but I don't, I don't really get into that in, in this podcast, mm. but you, you, you often hear this term system or systematics. Systemic. Systemic, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know of any greater system than the higher educational system in this country. And like I, I said, hold on, but every single in fact, it's a graduation requirement for a lot of people to take some sort of feminist study class, Feminism 101, and what they're taught in these classes, and the majority of people who go to college are women. It's like 60% women who go to college. Hold yes. on, let me just finish. So I'm gonna you ha yeah, hold throw on. up. So you basically have women who are going to university, being indoctrinated in this man-hating ideology, which is <laughs> feminism. It, it is a man-hating ideology. And many I don't think that's feminism. Pioneers. I think women are gaslighting each other into believing that that's feminism. I think that that is reactionary. I think that's reactionary feminism to years of abuse, rape, uh, mistreatment. I think that that is not true feminism. And I believe that there is a vested interest in liberals trying to feed this to future generations, I think that that's capitalistic. I don't, I think that that's capitalism at work. Also, when we talk about the sexual revolution, it does not benefit women. That's not feminism. The sexual revolution only seeks to benefit a very small number of men, right? And that would be the hypergamous men. That would be the top 1% of men. Right. Women are not happy that way. That's not feminism. This is a bastardized version of feminism that is, has been taken from women and given to leftist men who have advantages in women being hypersexualized, promiscuous, um, you know, not treating their bodies like their their bodies. Like this is not that's not feminism. This is something else entirely. This is a bastardized version of this. Well, again, no true Scotsman fallacy. But um, so, look, and I, I want to finalize my whole thing as far as why I believe feminism is not about equality. Here's why: <laughs> because if Feminists will not fight for a component, of, that's not the right word. Feminists will not fight for equality if said equality does not stand to benefit women. So, so it's, it's equity. So I know, so no, there, are certain, there are certain times when- Hold on, let me, let me just finish my point really quick. So, Go ahead. Relax, lady. Okay. <laughs> um, 
if if equal if i'm trying to articulate this properly feminists will not fight for equality if said equality does not reap a benefit to women so for example military conscription this is what i was just going to talk about we're but talking about equity i i'm not f really familiar with this term equity like so equity is to each their own need and it's taking so into account that males and females outcome. are different and so they need different things so if we were to go with the basis that we that both of the sexes has have equal dominion over the earth but they are different different things are going to happen that? yes believe i believe that, that they're different have, Yes, I believe that we are different. So couldn't it be argued then, I mean, you, you mentioned that there's a gap in terms of people who are at the top of politics and the top of corporations. Sure. Couldn't you argue, argue that because of our differences, that that pushes men to want to achieve I believe in a naturalistic patriarchy. So I, I, don't, I think that patriarchy is naturally what we come to when there is a stronger, bigger sex, right? That's tribalism, that's Darwinism, that's evolution, right? The stronger, biggest of the group is going to want dominion over the smaller group. But what I, th I think that served a purpose in Neolithic times. I don't think now in the post-technological age, almost in the post-human age, that the patriarchy needs to be so well-defined. Right? It made sense in the 50s or even before then. Even when we're talking about 1800s, it made sense before you could do anything on the computer, make your money on the computer doing podcasts. Right now, you wouldn't hold up. You, you're not fucking muscular, 6'8", fucking hunting things with spears. That's, that's what a man is, right? So these gender roles... I, well, I disagree with that. This patriarchy I disagree with that, is unneeded. And women are actually, evolutionarily also very well suited to powerful positions. We're very agreeable, we are very good at compromise, we're very good communicators, whereas men are unfortunately losing some value because a lot of it is brute force, right? Post-technologically. I, well, I, I mean, I kind of reject a couple of the, your statements there. Which ones? Well, I mean, you say that men, it's like brute force, we're only attuned to physical labor. Well, we know that women are on average have higher IQs than men. We know that we're more agreeable. No, we know that we have better communication skills. True. We're more emotionally adept. That is true. No, women don't have higher IQs than men. I think it's actually they do. equal. No. So the distribution for men, men have high, they, the distribution is no, no, no. more, are is more about, oscillated. Are you talking about great, the great, greater male variability? So there is greater male variability, so, so, but women are no, on, average, the average, on average higher IQ than men. No, no, the average is equal. No. Here's the difference though. There's more, here's the difference. There's, There's more variability with men. Yeah, no, here's the difference. Here's the difference with IQ. It's called the greater male variability. So you have, yes. you have a higher proportion of hyper intelligent, like very high IQ men, but you also have really, really dumb men. You have a much higher yes. proportion of really dumb men. Yes. So, but the average is the same. No, the yes. average. No, the female the average, average, is, the average is higher. The average is the same. The average. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> I don't know how to argue. I don't know how to argue this. It's not what you're saying is not true. There, there are more women. I, I would say that <sighs> there are more women with higher IQs than men, but there is greater variability no, in but men. I'm talking about the average here. So. At the middle, I think, I think you're right that there are more women in the middle that have higher IQs. However, if we're talking about genius level IQs, yes, but there are not, more men who are- Yes, but who cares about those men? Those are the men that are going to be really shifting things, I think. You, you don't think that we should cultivate genius? Hey, Brian. What's up? Respectfully, is this a panel for you guys? With well, I mean, you guys are welcome to jump in if you uh, want. Yeah, I mean, We've had about I, eight comments asking to move on, so, right. you know, <laughs> just respectfully. Yeah. We'll talk about it later. 